from the ashes we shall rise like a phoenix we shall fly hear the calling hear the calling listen to the voice within hear the calling never doubt the message it brings for Jamaica, it all started when we do mission trips to this home called Granville, a girl's home. And it all started through my brother who saw like, how their bedding was very torn up, very bad, full of like urine. A lot of the girls that were at the home, you know, they're relatively young um, and still wet the bed at night. The result is a UTI, multiple UTIs. It was something so simple that was wrong with the facility and so easy to help. All these facilities, they're receiving aid from many agencies, but the integrity of, of the bedding is something that's not focused on. The girls at Granville, for example, so, some of them were, were sleeping, two girls on a bed that's 28 inches wide. As a physician, we know the importance of a good night's sleep. It makes such a difference to wake up the next day refreshed. The dignity that the bed provides is something far deeper than just the practicality of a bed. It's that someone has taken the time, it is something that's being personally delivered to them by people who feel that their, their time should be spent serving you, the child. This morning, while we were taking out the beds, one of my children, Rick Roy, held onto my hand and take me upstairs and showed me his bed and he puts his finger into a little hole in the bed <laughs> and shows me and said need a new matrash, need a new matrash. <laughs> now Rick Roy is going to be able to get a new bed. My young girl, she couldn't contain herself, you know, she was just beaming from, you know, from ear to ear and she said, is this really mine? With us, mind is a home where we care for mentally challenged children with different type of disabilities and we really really do appreciate your donation of beds and mattresses for this much. facility and we do oh god will continue to bless you all as you continue to care for our less fortunate children thank you very much the persons that 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 are there on a day-to-day -day basis taking care of the of the residents taking care of the facility they are persons that really need to be Commending and thank for their input. It's a winning organization. It's a winning effort. Everybody benefits. We took a decision very early that all the, the beds, the mattresses that we're going to provide would be sourced locally in Jamaica. It wasn't just beds came by furniture delivery truck. It was people who cared. So it was almost like they're delivering love. The interaction that we have with the child when we go there is in and of itself powerful. I'm actually beginning to create a relationship with you and beginning to hear your story. It becomes a very human experience. It is something that we all have to get involved with. You know, he knows, I know, and giving, it's beautiful. Giving back, it, it comes easy. For Jamaica steps up to the plate and um, they simply put they deliver you know they deliver um, without any kind of fanfare without any kind of glory any kind of publicity it is important to be committed to something that is so important it's a great movement it's a great effort and it needs the support of everyone I want to thank you because through your love, we have not just been able to um, provide all these kids across the island of Jamaica a better out of sleep, but we've given them a moment where they feel important. Hi, I'm Lincoln Blair from both of the of Lada. Um, I want to give you thanks and honor for what you have done for us. We do appreciate it. I don't want to say thank you very much.
A little from a lot can go far away.